here we have the Scorp C. Uh, it's a two-year-old gimbal. Is it going to be worth it in 2024? You know, two years later, will, will this be worth it for your Sony ZB-E10 or any other mirrorless style cameras? Uh, that's what I'm going to go through. I did get this on uh, eBay, brand spanking new. I mean, it still has all the stickers on it. Got it brand new for a hundred bucks. So you can't even touch a lot of these gimbals for that price. So really good pricing. I'm ready to get it opened up. We're going to see if this one does any good. This one here had some huge hype two years ago. Let's see if the hype is, is still good here in 2024. So we're going to get it opened up here. Like I said, brand new on eBay for a uh, hundred bucks. I do have a buddy though, that kind of grabbed it for me. And uh, we, we might be doing some trading on my whole ham, but yeah. Woo wee. Look at this thing. Urgh. Look at that, man. I don't know if y'all seen, but I didn't have the Scorp two that I did a review on. And uh, I really did like the Scorp 2. There was just some little issues with the Scorp 2. Uh, even though you're supposed to be able to uh, hold a big lens on it. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I smell the newness off of it. I smell that new... That newness. But in the box, so you, you get the, the gimbal itself in its lock position. Uh, the only thing that I know that this is a bad... I, I, well, one thing that I don't like about this is it doesn't come with a carrying bag. So there's the gimbal itself. Comes with the little tripod. It, this one here actually has uh, two extra little legs in the back. You can put this down anywhere like this right here. Again, you get the little tripod bra uh, base. You get two little mounts. One for smaller lenses. Uh, one for your bigger lenses. Then you get a little box of goodies, which should be all your cables. So here's some tightening screws. I mean, I got, uh, that's your camera uh, lens uh, holder for bigger lenses. Now, I really did luck out on this one. And then, I mean, to hook up everything and anything. I mean, that's just, that's insane. Hook up everything and anything. So that's all that comes in here. So I'm gonna get it all hooked up and uh, we're gonna play around with it for a little bit. So the handle is really, really nice on it. I like having the handle where you can bring it down and you got more pivot on it. That's really, really nice with some smooth, smooth transition, some really good smooth motion. So that, that's been a plus so far with this. Again, come in and get you some down angles. balancing of the, of the scorp though is a little challenging even though that it does take a payload i believe of like five pounds something like that uh i'll go ahead and i'll leave it up here somewhere uh of what it actually does but yeah no i mean the the, the fit in your hand is really comfortable um again you also have where if you don't want to carry the tripod on here you can take the tripod off right and Say you don't have the tripod on you and you need to set it down. What's really nice is you can actually pull out the back legs and now you can use the back legs as the stand. So now you can set it down on something and it sets it right down. What's also really cool about the Scorp C is the down uh, legs on it. So me personally, as I'm sitting here, it can actually rest on your, on your forearm right here. And really, truly, I, if they made this a little bit more angled down, even on the Scorp 2, it would have been really, really nice. And I think that was one of mine in my uh, Scorp 2 review. But anyways, say you don't have the, tri the tripod attachment on it or you didn't bring it with you or, you know, you're out, depending on how you're shooting, you can actually use this as your, your stand. And again, go ahead and straighten that back out. You know, you got everything that's right and perfect for it. So what's cool also about Fayetech is their application for, uh, I don't know if it's on Apple, but I know for Android, we have it here. I'm, I can assume that it's probably for Apple. But anyways, we can come in here and I can control the camera itself from in here. Also with the gimbal, you can balance the horizon calibration right here from the app, or you can hold down this button right here for calibration. So also in the app, you can come in here and you customize what your AB button can do all from the app itself. When you're in the app, you click on the actual uh, Fayetech Scorp, 
you can sit here this with your phone and you can move whatever you want up down left right you can do it all right here on your phone if you want to do a selfie i can turn around and do a selfie if i want to go the other way i can go back the other way i mean it's really really cool uh, of the features that it actually has in here all right so with the fayutex scorp c is it worth it in 2024 i believe so i believe if you can get a good deal like i did or if you can find one used uh, used is normally around $100. Uh, again, if you can find it new for 100 bucks like I did, uh, it's one heck of a deal. It, it does really good. Um, so far, the cons. Number one con, compared to my Hoham uh, MT2, uh, the balancing was a little bit different. Uh, and again, I think that's one reason why I might have sent back the Scorp 2. But under Scorp 2, I, I think there was something wrong with one of the motors on it whenever I did the review on it. Uh, I think there was something wrong with the motor. Either that or I just really wanted the, the whole hem because I like whole hem products. Um, but it's, it's a really nice gimbal. The, the balancing is a little finicky. So even though they do have these little red dots, as you can see everywhere. Let me see. One's right here. One's down here somewhere. You got these red dots that's supposed to help you out. Uh, they really don't help you too much. Got to make sure you're tightening everything down all the... the where it needs to be tightened. Uh, other than that, the only other drawback that I see is there's no carrying bag for this. And when this thing came out, I think it was like 250 or 300 and without a bag, wow, that's crazy. Uh, the way they, on the Scorp 2, uh, they changed the way, you know, you, there's little, little uh, release knobs instead of having these, these knobs here, the release knobs at the motors that you can adjust everything. Uh, I didn't really play around with the the roll the roll button. Uh, I'm not that good with a gimbal. I just want a gimbal just to get some stable footage. Uh, I'm not a you know a video photographer or nothing like that. Uh, this is more or less a hobby slash getting into it. So uh, the back legs, I mean, it's really really nice. I do like the back legs. Those are nice to have. Uh, if you don't want the tripod, I always suggest bring this tripod because especially with the handle, which is also the biggest feature of this one, where even like the Hoham, you got to buy the extra attachment on it. Uh, with the Hoham, you had the AI tracker on it. This don't have none of that in it. It don't even have an LCD uh, screen on it at all. So, but it doesn't change that it, how good it works because it does work good. I do like it. You've seen that it took all, all my ZB-10 with my Takana lens on it. Uh, but anyway, back to the, the the legs here. The legs are just, I mean, that is just perfect. I mean, set it up where you're not laying it on its side or nothing like that. Really, really nice. I like the design. I like the comfort. Uh, it will, just like any other gimbal, it does have a little weight. And the more you put on it, the more your arms are going to get wore out. Uh, I, like I said, I do like that. Uh, you can, when these are out, you can kind of rest this on your arm just a little bit as you're waiting to take your next shot. Uh, it feels like you just have a gun in your hand. Wow. Wow. No. But anyways, no, it, it's, I think it's worth it if you can find it, you, you know, no more than, you know, 125 bucks tops. 125 tops, if you can find it, it is well worth it in 2024. And it's going to be well worth it into 2025 and possibly 2026, depending on what all comes out. Anyways, I'm Thomas of Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.